Welcome to the Accelerated Investor Podcast with Josh Cantwell. Josh Cantwell. If you love entrepreneurship and investing in real estate, then you are in the right place. Josh is the CEO of Freeland Ventures Real Estate Private Equity and has personally invested in well over 500 properties all across the country. He's also made hundreds of private lender loans and owns over 1,000 units of apartments. Josh is an expert at raising private money for deals, and he prides himself on never having had a boss in his entire adult life. Josh and his team also mentor investors and entrepreneurs from all over the world. He doesn't dream about doing deals. He actually does them, and so do his listeners and students. Now sit back, listen, listen learn, learn, and accelerate your business, your life, and your investing with the Accelerated Investor Podcast. So hey, welcome back. Hey, I appreciate you being here. This is Josh Cantwell with Accelerated Investor. And um, man, I've just had an incredible time sharing with you guys, uh, you know, the, the nine things that successful and productive people do and the nine things that enormously successful people refuse to do, the things they refuse to do. And we're on number nine. Um, if, you're, if you missed number eight, uh, was our longest episode and, and probably one of the most important, definitely uh, the, probably the best message, refuse to become overwhelmed. Uh, that was number eight. So if you missed that, make sure you go back and check that out um, on Accelerated Investor. Uh, number nine is in the last and final episode in this series is that enormously productive people, uh, enormously successful people refuse to stop learning, growing, and developing. Uh, you know, the people that I've, I've personally witnessed that have had some success um, and then ultimately that success stops is that they've stopped growing, they've stopped developing. Listen, our economy, our world uh, is spinning and moving at such a rapid pace if you think that you're going to have success in one thing and that's going to last forever, you're just flat out dead wrong. It's just not going to happen, period, the end. And so enormously successful people, they refuse to stop developing, stop growing, stop learning. They're constantly searching growth, personal development, personal growth, personal reflection. They're saying to themselves, look, the version that I am today is not the best version of me. It's not the best version that I'm gonna be, right? So I'm always can get better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep getting better until the day I die, right? I'm gonna listen to that next podcast. I'm gonna read that next book. I'm gonna implement that next thing in my life. If I have overwhelm, I'm gonna simplify my life, right? If I have negativity, I'm gonna get rid of it. If I have distraction, I'm gonna focus on the 20%. If I'm thinking small, I'm gonna think big. Okay, and they can do that. They can overcome distraction, overwhelm, limiting mental beliefs, all the other eight things that we discussed today, all the other eight things that we've discussed on this podcast, all the other eight things that we've discussed that enormously successful and productive people do. It all comes down to number nine, this one. It all comes down to successful people are always learning developing and growing. You know, we're recording this, uh, if, you're, if you're catching this on YouTube, uh, we're recording this inside of one of my offices. I have a couple offices here in, inside of this building and then I have a couple conference rooms I use and then I have two offices in my home that I operate out of and, and one of them I share with my wife. And you'll notice in all my offices, there's, there's tons of books. There's tons of books that I've, I've read. And, and today, because I love to be in the gym, there's tons of podcasts and audiobooks that I'm a voracious listener of podcasts. I'm a voracious listener of ebooks um, or audiobooks. I'm a voracious reader. Now, I got to be honest with you, when I was growing up, when I took my SAT and my ACT scores, um, I think it's the SAT that, like, you know, people get like a 1200 score or a 1400 score or an 1800 score or whatever. And I think the ACT is the one where you get like a 20 or a 25, like, that's your score. Um, on the SAT, I remember, never forget when I was, um, taking the SAT, I got like a 950 was my score in math and like a 350 was my score in English. And I remember taking the test and I remember like 
reading the story, and then I always knew there was going to be you know five or six or eight questions about the story after on the SAT, and I would read the story, and my mind was already like off in left field. Like I would read the first paragraph, and maybe you can relate to this. I would read the first paragraph, and my mind was already like, woo, way out in left field, just thinking about something else. Now, if you put a math problem in front of me or a physics problem or a biology problem, I, I would eat that up. I would eat that up. I could sit down and do math and, and, and formulas all day, all night. I was on the math team. I was on different math competition teams in high school. I loved it. But if you asked me to sit and read... Uh, you'd be lucky if I could read 50 pages in a book and I could tell you one freaking thing that I learned because my mind was just, woo, way out in left field. Um, I couldn't focus. I couldn't couldn't do it. And so today I've learned that my body is built a certain way. I've stopped fighting that urge to sit and read and know that I'm really not going to retain any of that information. So what I do now is I actually buy a book Let's say, like for example, I just read this book, The Dichotomy of Leadership um, by Jocko Willink. Fantastic. I bought the book and also bought the audio book. So I listened to the audio book while I have the physical book open. So I just let my eyes scan the book. And I, I listened to the audio book on two times speed. So I can get through the book in half the time but also probably six times faster or 10 times faster than if I actually sat and read the book myself because I'm such a slow reader and I don't retain the information that I read. So if you want to be enormously successful and productive, you have to learn to continue always learning, always growing, always developing, always attending mastermind groups, enrolling in some sort of coaching programs, going to live events, attending live seminars and workshops. But make sure you do it where you're attacking a specific thing that you want to learn for an extended period of time. You see, the thing that I think I, I, I see in even my own coaching students that are learning about real estate or investors, they're like, well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to this audio book on options trading, and then I'm going to read this book on real estate apartment investing. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this book on digital marketing, and I'm going to go to this seminar on you know rehab flipping and I'm gonna go to this webinar on wholesaling and they're constantly learning little bits of information about all these different things that they could do. So successful people don't just refuse to stop learning, growing and developing, but they what they actually do is they choose a specific topic to immerse themselves into. So when I when I got into uh, this book, you know, uh, Extreme Ownership and the Dichotomy of Leadership by Jocko Willink and Leif Bevin, I didn't just read the book and then move on to another book. I, I, I listened to the audio book. Then I went back, I bought the physical book, and I listened to the audio book a second time on two times speed with a highlighter, highlighting the book over and over and over and over. Okay, then I go back and when I'm in the gym, I listen to parts of the book again and again and again. So I probably listened to that book now four times in the last six months. Okay, then if I look at the dichotomy of leadership, their second book, same thing, bought the book. I listened to the audio book first, loved it, thought about a lot of the principles. I took notes inside my iPhone while I was at the gym or while I was traveling. Then I bought the physical book and I went back and listened to the entire book a second time. And I started highlighting the physical book while listening to the audio book at two times speed. Now I'm searching for my next book. Um, and I just got a book in the mail uh, from one of our affiliates, from uh, Ross Hamilton, who's the CEO of Connected Investors, is a friend of mine. And he sent me a book called What Got You Here Won't Get You There. Okay, and so I'm now uh, just bought the, the podcast, the, 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 the audio book version, and I'm going to, and I have the physical book, so I'm starting to go through it. I literally just started it the other day, listening to it and highlighting the physical book and going through and taking notes all at the same time. So if you want to completely immerse yourself into self-development, to growth, don't just buy a whole bunch of crud and listen to this and that and this webinar and that live seminar and this book and that book. Be more strategic about it. Choose one line of education. Choose whether it's real estate investing and let's say it's you know passive income. 
And if it's passive income, is it single family rentals? Is it multifamily? Is it small balanced commercial? And learn everything you can about that for the next three months. Just that and that only. Completely immerse yourself into it. And then you'll actually be able to get things out of it. Think, remember about when you were in school, right? Like my daughter, she comes home with her math problems. She's been basically doing different types of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division all year. Her school year is almost over with. She's been in school for about eight months. She's only in fifth grade, but she has math class every day. She learns about multiplication and division every day. So it's not like she's going from you know one topic to the next to the next and skipping over and, and learning one thing for a month and then not learning about that for three months and then coming back to it. It's the repeat, it's the discipline, it's the staying with it. So the most successful people, they're, they're, they're committed to their growth and their development, but the real hack here, the difference here, is that if you wanna invest in a certain type of, of, of real estate or the markets, or you wanna you know, learn more about digital marketing, you need to focus on just learning that only singular focus, singular focus, just that for the next about three months. And if you do that, you will become an enormously productive and successful person. All right, well that brings us home. We've rounded third base, we hit home plate. I hope we hit a grand slam, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the nine things that enormously productive and successful people do, the nine things they do, and the nine things that they refuse to do. Uh, this is number nine in our series, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let us know. Give us some feedback. Share it with your friends on the social media platforms. Invite one of your friends to listen to this series. Uh, you know, share a rating or a review. Uh, just share this stuff with the world. You know, my my goal is to just help you and help as many people as I can be more successful, more productive, be a better CEO, a better leader, or a better investor. Right. That's what I'm here to do. So I really am so happy that you jo uh, enjoyed these nine episodes. If you missed an episode, make sure you go back, check it out, and listen to these over and over and over again. Don't just listen to them once. Learn and go through them more than one time so you can actually implement what you've learned. Thanks so much for being a part of the Accelerated Investor family, and we'll see you next time. Take care. You've been listening to Josh Cantwell and the Accelerated Investor Podcast. Leave a comment on our iTunes channel and let us know what you want to learn next or who you'd like Josh to interview. While you're there, give us a five-star rating and make sure to subscribe so you can be the first to hear new episodes. Follow Josh Cantwell and his companies, Strategic Real Estate Coach and Freeland Ventures on all social media platforms now and stay up to date on new training and investment opportunities to start your journey toward the lifestyle you've always dreamed dreamed of. Apply for coaching at joshcantwellcoaching.com.